y'all. It's Megan again here on the Lawson Farm. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Um, it's time to start cooking supper here on the farm. And tonight, we're going to be cooking something real easy. Straight from the grocery store. I ain't scared to admit it. <laughs> but it is a yummy, delicious, quick supper um, chicken pie. So, uh, I'm going to have some people judge me here because I'm opening cans and putting them in there. But it's all good because... I am not a purist, as I think that's the word that some people use. Uh, I love stuff coming from my garden, um, but sometimes it's just not feasible. Sometimes I don't have time to cook the chicken before I make the meal. You know, I don't always got time for all that, y'all. I'm a mama and a nurse and all that good stuff and a wife. Sometimes just don't have time. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is a delicious chicken pie that I'm actually uh, going to cook in my cast iron Dutch oven. If you don't have a Dutch oven, that's fine. You can put it in your regular glass casserole dish. I actually used to cook it in my cast iron frying pan. The only thing about that, um, it was always like floating on the edges from running over. And I have to be real careful with it. So that's why I'm going to put it in my Dutch oven today. So the first thing we're going to need... Y'all will be proud of me. I did make my own cream of chicken. So I get a few points for that, right? <laughs> um, but we need some cream of chicken soup. And I'll be posting a video how to make this as well. Uh, so keep a lookout for that. And I'll put a link here in the video. It'll be popping up around here somewhere uh, for y'all. But this will be one can of cream of chicken soup. And this is the cream of chicken that I made from my brawl. So we're just going to dump that straight in there. I just like to be real with y'all, you know. People say, Lord, how you cook like that all the time. Well, I do cook like I show y'all a lot. I cook like that a whole lot. But not always. We got to be real. We got to be real life, y'all. All right. So, and then the next thing we're going to need... I'm using canned chicken, y'all. I got some people going to frown upon that. But um, if I don't have time to cook the chicken, I don't have time to cook the chicken. I haven't canned any chicken uh, yet this year. So we're just going to dump this canned chicken in there. Broth and all. And I'm actually going to use two cans. But I drained the second can, so it's not too, too runny. I like a lot of chicken in there. Now, one thing I will tell you about using canned chicken, um, it is saltier than if you cook the chicken yourself, so you're not going to need to add a lot of salt to this because it is salty. Alright, I'm just mixing that together. Next thing is a can of mixed vegetables. I love the veg all home style vegetables. Um, if I do have to use canned vegetables from the grocery store, these are my favorite. They're big old chunks of carrots and potatoes and peas and things like that. So I'm just going to dump the whole can in there. I did drain this beforehand uh, so I don't make my liquid too thin. So we're going to just dump all that in there. Boy, this is going to be good, y'all. Easy, simple, anybody can do it. That's what I like about it. Let me show y'all what this looks like so far in there. Alright, I've got all that mixed up. So the next thing we have to make is our crust that's going to be on top. So I'm going to cheat again, y'all. Look at here. Southern Biscuit Biscuit Mix. This stuff is really good. Uh, if you're ever feeling lazy and don't want to make homemade biscuits and you got some of this on hand, it's the next best thing. It's delicious. But, so, we're going to need a cup of this. And this is actually my little one third a cup measure, so y'all gonna see me put three of these in there. Alright. So one cup of that and a half a cup of milk. Just go mix. 
mix that together. Now this is not gonna be thick like biscuit dough. It's gonna be kind of thin. That's exactly what you want so you can pour it over your chicken. So we're just gonna, and if it does start getting thick, go ahead and just put you a little bit more milk in there. Make it a little bit thinner. Because well, like I said, it has to be pourable. See there y'all? It's pretty thin. That's what we want. Alright, so we're going to pour this mixture over our chicken mixture. And you just want to spread it out. My arm is in y'all's way. Let's do this. Just slowly all the way around and that'll rise up through your chicken. And make you a pretty little crust on there. Now one thing I did forget to tell y'all, um, always make sure your cast iron's hot before you go to putting anything in it. That's one key to, for it to not stick. So always make sure your cast iron's hot no matter what you're fixing. Make sure it's hot. Alright, we're going to put this in the oven. We're going to bake it on 400 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. So my chicken pie has cooked right at about 25 minutes, so we're going to get it out and see what that looks like. Oh yeah. Let me just show y'all here. Look at that fluffy, biscuity crust and all that thick goodness that's going to be down in there. And the final step, of course, we all know what makes everything better, is the little melted butter on top. Butter makes everything better. <laughs> Except for like your heart and your arteries and stuff. Probably doesn't make those any better, but you know, we'll cross that bridge when it gets here. So I'm just painting some melted butter up on top here. And we're going to let that cool off and we're going to eat. <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video today. I know it's a little out of my normal. But, uh, like I said earlier, I just want to be real with y'all uh, and let y'all know that, you know, I don't cook everything from the garden. I can't. Um, There's some things like this. I mean, with the prep and the cook and everything it's like 30 minutes it's a 30 minute meal and you don't even have to have any sides with it because you got your vegetables you got your bread you got your meat um so if you're looking for a quick easy cost efficient meal um this here chicken pie is the way to go because it is good um but hope everybody has a wonderful rest of your evening and thank you so much for watching please consider subscribing to the channel if you're interested in this type of content i um you know do a lot of cooking I consider it maybe the Appalachian style of cooking, uh, going back to my roots, doing things like that. And when the garden gets here, you're definitely not going to want to miss that because uh, we're going to be doing a lot with our garden. I'm going to be doing a lot of canning, a lot of different preserving methods, uh, things like that. So you won't want to miss that. But I hope everybody has a good rest of your evening. See y'all next time.